Hello. Hello, Tripur. How are you? I'm fine, fine. You? I'm good. Yeah, yeah let's go on the, the slide for today. I cannot hear you. Okay. Um, did you see the slides? Uh, not yet. I I propose to wait some minutes um, for um, Bobby, and um, after that we can start uh, talking some minutes about the slide and next um, next uh, the the future of the that project if you if you agree yes that sounds good so just two or three minutes and then we, we can start yeah uh bobby will not be joining us in the meeting uh she messaged right on the link ah, okay no, no no i yeah i didn't see i didn't see okay so we'll i'll talk with you yes <clears throat> okay, so just one second. Okay, so well, I'm not be able to make today's meeting. I will listen to the board. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, yeah, I'll, just some slide that we share my screen. Okay, the about future scenarios <laughs> is a, a, a good question. Yeah, in my opinion, yes. um, there are um, several scenarios. We, we received um, feedback from the meetup, uh, also good feedback, but, but some people um, told us that it takes too long. The response time is about 30 or 60, from 30 to 60 seconds. And also yes. the system is so expensive. So to start um, $7,000 is, is too much. Mm. And uh, okay, about the future. So f first of all, we are waiting from the um, response about uh, the mentorship program. And I'd like um, several people, but also uh, existing <laughs> uh, maintainer and, and uh, collaborator. So um, uh, about the first scenario, uh, we work on the architecture and technical topics to create a prototype. So we can work on the standard UI using React as an example. Um, yeah. container architecture using Docker, Kubernetes, and so on, and install the, the system on GPU cloud. That In that case, we can solve part of the uh, issues because we can have uh, a system online, uh, which is live. So when you receive the error, you, um, you uh, will not need to restart the notebook on Google Cloud because the system uh, returns an error, but will continue to, for, for example, a timeout error, but will continue to, to work. But also we can use a um, stronger um, CP GPU so we can reduce the response time and also we can check the system uh, to, to improve the system. This is a, the one, one scenario. Another one, can be to work on AI topic to improve the performance and reduce costs. So for example, check new open source models, um, fine tune the models. To, so use uh, training data set to improve the, the model and the, um, the performance. And also um, can start an evaluation step using standard metrics and improve the performance uh, every every time. 
So this is a second scenario. But we can also think a third scenario with, uh, where uh, we can work on both the topics. So on the AI uh, model, but at the same time um, about technical and architectural uh, topic. So I think uh, it's a, an important uh, decision. We will talk about that before to start work on on next step. And I'd like to receive uh, your opinion and uh, opinion from Bobby. And also if um, the TOC will give us um, some suggestions about, about that. Yeah. What do you think? Just in in few <laughs> words, I know that it's it's. Uh, really I, I'm, I'm just processing uh, all the things that you you just said. So mm -hmm. I believe uh, uh, the first one checking new open source models are re a really great idea, and mm -hmm. uh, I believe this is something that we should uh, do because mm -hmm. you know it will help us in costing and all because we do got some responses that yeah it is quite expensive to you know mm -hmm. run the model so <clears throat> and also uh, fine tuning is needed and we should start working on that uh, hyperledger have a lot of uh, data set so we can start do, uh, doing that okay okay i i agree i, I think it's it's very important to work on the AI topics like open source model, check new models with best performance and also use um, the um, uh, Hyperledger data for training um, in, in the second step. So training the, the model uh, using Hyperledger data. So I, I agree, I agree. Yeah. And uh, so we can, we can do uh, in that, in that case, we can stop the. Um, yeah, I think it's yeah finish the the um, the slide. We can stop here. Uh, we can stop here. Uh, in that way, Bobby has a very short <laughs> um, registration record um, recorded the me meeting, and we will update um, next uh, Monday with uh, new ideas uh, that we you can propose, Bobby can propose, and also opinion about this uh, topic. Um, could you explain the install on GPU cloud, what it, it is? I haven't heard yeah. it. Yeah, I, I mean, in that case, that we have a system which is not running on uh, Google Colab Notebook, but is online, like a web application where you can um, ask question uh, to the system passing uh, via by a, a standard UI or using the um, um, HTTP um, action like a post request to the system and the system can, can reply. In that case, when you have the timeout error, like the, the last time, the system do, will not require to restart all the system, but is continue to work. Just you, you receive the, the error, but you can uh, ask again the question. So when the system is installed, is online, you can use it without starting. So think think about at the moment. You if you want to uh, test check the system, you have to start the um, um, run the notebook on Google Colab, and yes. then you can. But in uh, the last uh, bullet point means that you can ask one time, and system can reply to your question every time you want. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's installed. So uh, that means that everyone uh, who wants. Uh, do like uh, search anything have to download it on their gpu 
like uh, yeah we we can decide we can decide if the uh, url uh, will be public we can also share the url uh, in order to have um, feedback from other people we uh, that want to test it okay this is a case another case can be that uh, in the first step we can test the system and other people will uh, um, not know the do not know the um, public URL, so they cannot check it. Okay. But it's important <coughs> that we can we can check the same system. The system it's uh, um, like a, a web application running on cloud, and if you want to check it, you can start the first time when the system is running. Mm -hmm. And if you receive an error, in that case you. Um, it not need is not needed to restart the system, but just uh, try again the same question. It's like a distributive system, like distributive system. Like uh, if uh, my laptop is not working and you are online, then you will be providing the data to the person who is using it, like that. It, it, yeah, no, it's, it's uh, like a, web, a standard web application. Some of the web application where you are um, currently, you can use also Python for to create a. You, you can think like a, a web API. We create a web yeah. API using the script. You, we uh, use okay. the script that we have, and to create a web API, so very change, uh, little change, but um, we can um, expose the. Um, um the the action like the, you can ask the system uh, using get uh, http or post http we can decide the protocol how to uh, send the request to the system and so on so transform the the current python script to a python web api installed in a gpu because it, it's 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 needed the GPU. The system now requires the GPU, not only the CPU. Okay. And uh, for uh, standard UI using React JS, uh, we can uh, like deploy our website on GitHub only. Like uh, GitHub provides you one uh, free URL which you can use. Uh, if you are aware uh, about, yeah, you uh, okay. It's not very important to have the that one the I an UI using React. It's important to at the moment we have the at the moment we have the uh, like this one. Yeah, it's one component for all the step for all the system and so on. But in the future. We will separate. We split different parts. We have the first in the first step. It's the ingestion phase. So um, until the model, it's it will be on online and also data. But the the second part is to create the memory part. The, and also Gradio, we, we will not use Gradio. Gradio now are simplifying the system. We will not use it. But uh, okay. the system will be a web. Yeah, the, the, the code is pretty the same, but it's in a Python script using yeah. fast API, using, uh, I don't know, a web server like um, also Flask. Uh -huh. Flask, so uh, the technology could be plus plus fast plus fast api in that case we use uh, we create a web api with python mm -hmm. and we can uh, yeah, use flask that right yeah, yeah bots we can use bot Yes. It's more, yeah, start, starting from fast API. Mm. 
and in that case we can use the um, we, we can uh, the request will be like um, a do you know postman or yeah, yeah, okay. okay yeah you can you can use postman in the first time and so in that case you the ui can be um built in um uh, react js or angular js is not uh, dependent on the back backend part yes so um, this is my my idea and um, i don't know i think we can think about that this week and also we'll talk about this topic next monday uh, with uh, bobby and also uh, think about how to go ahead it's i think it's important also uh, receive some suggestion to from the um, uh, technical yes, oversight ma'am. committee yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, for the next meeting should i design some uh, ui designs if you want I yeah if you, if you have some uh, example if you want to design something also very very easy super easy uh, yeah, example yeah. with uh, i don't know um text field and uh background image or color yes. yeah very very easy we should also uh, like work on uh, the logo of ai faq as uh, all the projects in the hyperledger uh, community have their own logos if uh, you have seen on the website like um, uh, aries have their own base who have their own okay. cactus has their own yeah so okay, we can also no, work yeah, on the i think this but it, it could be related to the incubation project i mean i don't know i don't know because uh, yeah like solang it's in incubation so uh, also cello and caliber they are logo because they are in incubation project i don't know i think we can it's it's great but also we can ask something uh, to to bobby because I think yeah. she's uh, <laughs> your experience yeah. in, in yeah. The, the process. <clears throat> but it would be nice to have a logo for the project. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And if you uh, have uh, short free time, you can design the UI. But uh, yeah. about your skill in developer, you have you you do you know React JS some. Yeah. Okay. You, you have. Um, did you implement something in React already? Yeah, you have I, some... I don't have anything that is working right now, but uh, mm -hmm. I, I did some projects in my second year, so yeah, I do know how to work on it. Okay, okay, <laughs> good, very good. To but, uh, I will be working on. Uh, I will create the um, UI designs on Figma. Ah, okay. So that we can, yeah. Yeah, if we can first uh, decide if we really want that or we want something else, and if we uh, all agree on that design, then uh, if you if you need any help or uh, in that, I can start working on it with React JS, and if you uh, don't need it, then I will work on something else. Okay, okay. I, I, yeah, I the the idea is not to decide <laughs> from my side, but I think it's very important to ask. Uh, suggestion to uh, Bobby, which is which has uh, great experience in uh, uh, open yeah. source project. Uh, this is my my idea. So I think. And but I'm uh, sorry, sorry. Can yeah. go ahead. And I, I wanted to say that uh, before having a meeting with TOC, we should like uh, search for some open source pro models so that we can like. Uh, uh, ask them if we can include it in our project so that uh, we have already things prepared with us and we can have productive response from them what do you what okay do you yeah the, yeah i have some idea about new open source models i have some documentation <laughs> which i i'm reading at at the moment uh, okay. there are new uh, technique um, recent uh, result on on that which uh, we will check it out 
uh, I, I think. But uh, the the idea, the my my, I'd like that um, this week we will uh, think about these three sh scenarios. Okay. okay it's, in my opinion, it's it's important to think about this scenario and how uh, we uh, can go ahead. It's important right. also to share this information with David and the TOC. So yes. um, we will update next week, uh, next Monday, and we will decide how to um, go ahead with this project. This is my... I know. Yeah. So, sorry. sorry um, go ahead. Uh, I wanted to say that. Uh, could you also like share the application uh, material that you have used for the uh, program mentorship uh, when you uh, documentation regarding that that uh, will be really helpful because I will be uh, using that for Google season of docs so I can okay. use the same material for it okay I I, I try to reply to the question so I received uh, we I applied for the that one I applied for uh, that one which is our is that one okay applied for that one and um, uh, what do you mean about material uh no no this is enough like i was uh like uh, have you written any documentation on it for uh, like that so <clears throat> yeah yeah uh, okay the idea is to um to work on uh, the front end um, component using yeah. Re React, I think it's the the best the yeah. best uh, um, tool for or framework, and also yeah. we can uh, also have a container architecture with Docker, which will we we can um, install in uh, in cloud. This is the very important. Thing in my in my opinion, and okay. uh, I think <coughs> one could I cannot hear you. I... Hello. Be yeah about that. Yeah. Ah oh, no, sorry. I will. Okay, losing my screen. Yeah. Okay. It's a very good course on React. Yeah, yeah I see you, you, you don't. If you want to uh, use uh, your free time, I think mm -hmm. one of the best course could be... Uh, yeah, that one, the first one. Yeah. The first one. And also about the uh, container, the standard documentation. It's, yeah, there is a standard do documentation uh, products. Desktop. Yeah, I've used Docker also on some of the projects. So yeah, I know how okay. it works. Okay, yeah. good, very good. <laughs> yes, there is a, not to, uh, documentation, I think. The talker guides. Yeah, it is this. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, also, this is one. Yeah, I'm. I will read that one. Generative AI. Okay. To and also, natural language processing. Okay. For some example. Right. And uh, so I think these two skills could be enough to to start with the, with, with the project as maintainer. Yeah, this is my, this is my my opinion. But all all is about the technical oversight committee, and I think Bobby as well because they are experienced. They can suggest to uh, do something or uh, to do that or something different from that.
Okay, so um, any other question? No, I think it's uh, all right. I think we should move forward with this and we should get back on this on Monday, next Monday with Bobby. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And also you think about that <laughs> and your I, I yeah. doubt also your opinion <laughs> on Monday <laughs> with Bobby. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tripur. Have a nice week and Thank we'll you. see you next Monday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have a nice Thank week. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.